Good morning, my name is Daniel and I'm here today with Stanley and we're here to show you how you can write a resume with experience from prison. So Stanley, tell me about your background. Well, uh, my background, uh, I was 19 and I first came to prison and uh, okay. I stayed in prison five years the first time. Okay. And uh, about a little two months after I got out, I was back in prison. This time I stayed like the, almost 30 years. Okay. And uh, I just got uh, 2011, April the 20th. And right now I've been out uh, about several several months now. Okay. And uh, and it's you know uh, it's a big change now from what from what uh, what I've been. I know? imagine. So you've spent your entire adult life in prison, even some of your youth in prison, correct? That's correct. Yeah. So when you got out less than a year ago, how did that make you feel about getting a job or the prospects of even getting getting a job? Well, uh, my my feeling, you know, pretty much hopelessness, uh, doubt, was uncertain, and didn't know what the what what the future hold out there. Mm -hmm. you know, once I got out, you know. I imagine. So tell me a little bit about the prison you were in last. How large was it? How many inmates? Uh, I said. About fifteen hundred inmates, you know. Okay. And all, you know, all, and all. So, did you work in prison? If you did, where did you work while you were in prison? Uh, what I was doing, they they got uh, rock mans or what's called commercial cleaners. Okay. I was doing work like that, you know, last prison now that you know. And you worked with a a company or uh, at least something in prison. What did you yeah. do exactly? Clean up within the confinement of the prison, you know, in order to get a the state paid going for myself, I can provide for myself, uh, be able to buy cost medicine, you know, all the little things I need. So while in prison did you ever work or have a job there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I worked in prison, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that and what you did exactly. Well it's uh one particular job I had, I was working at a place called Track Corps. Okay. Uh, I worked there, uh, I guess, about about five years. From, okay. From 2002. Okay. Until, uh, I said from, from 2003 to 2006, yeah. Okay. So, most people probably don't know Tricor. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about Tricor. What type of company was that? Uh, Tricor, man, they get the inmates to do a lot, a lot of work. Okay. And they pay you minimum wage. Okay. And, uh, and that's a, that's good money in the prison, you know. It was this a a part of the prison system, or who what who owned the company, or what was it exactly? It's some, what's called some kind of private. Uh, this is a private co corporation. They what they do is try to get inmates to, to work for them uh, for whatever reason, and uh, a lot of time, you know. They were pretty successful, you know, then the inmates then seen the balls are caught. It was good money. Okay. Compared to money he was making in the prison already. Okay. So basically you had a job with a private or free world company yeah. and you were getting paid, correct? That's right. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, that's definitely something that we can use in building your resume. Uh huh. Now you'd mentioned minimum wage. Did everybody who Earned or got a job with Tricor start at minimum wage the first day they began? No, you okay. got kind of, uh, at the time they had a state line. Okay. And then they had a free world line. Okay. And a lot of times when you first come in, you have to work on the state line first, and then they see how good, if you're in the, in the good, you know, and, and they feel that they want you. you okay. Know? They'll pull you from the state the state line on over to the free world line. Okay. If, if you want it. Join, join the team, you know. Okay, great. Uh -huh. So when you say state line, that's basically uh -huh. prison yeah, wages, yeah. and yeah. or did you get paid at, on the state oh, line? Yeah, you got paid, but you got paid by production. You know what you okay. put out. Piecemeal, yeah. in other words, yeah. what yeah. you produce. Okay. Compared to the, the free world line. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you went to Tricor or the free world company or private company, mm -hmm. is that when you started earning min earning minimum wage, or was that after some time even at Tricor? Now, once I got to the uh, pre world land, you started earning minimum yeah, wage. Yeah, as soon as you come over there, you start. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, at Youngston, you know, 
you know, you might work for, what, uh, a month, then at the end of the month, you're getting paid, you know, yeah, uh, minimum wage, you know. Okay. They'll take out room and board and then put a little bit for you, you know, to the side in your saving account. Okay. So if you ever got out, you know, you have some money, you know. So even though you were in prison, mm -hmm. you had a basically a private job, uh -huh. earning minimum wage, and you earned a raise when you came from the state line yeah. to the free world of the private company. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. Okay, good, because that's a lot we can work with that makes it look like you worked with a private company even though you were in prison. So that, that's great. Yeah. Well, tell me a little bit again about what the company did or what you produced or... Uh, we might have uh, made uh, curtains and stuff of uh, hotels. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, we had tables, you know, you clamp down. Okay. And, and you know, two people might be on the table, and you have to clamp, clamp it down. Okay. And one guy on one end doing his thing, you know, you on the other doing okay. your thing. And uh, then, if we weren't doing it, you know, we had some sewing to do. Okay. You know, you had to search, and you know, uh, you know, so they they not they they made curtains, they made quilts. Okay. You know, best, for bedding. Yeah, bedding. Yeah. Okay. And we made uh. A lot of stuff we made for uh, college campus, you know, like okay, with door college, rooms or some kind of bags, you know. Uh, gotcha. Uh, with the with the logos on them. You know, okay. And uh, you know, we, pillars we made pillars also. But a lot of it was based on the sewing, yeah, sewing and it assembly. Based, yeah, uh, also, yes, okay, it was sewing. Yeah. Oh, very good. Um, so when you got the job with Tricor, earning minimum wage. Why, of all the people in the prison, did they choose Stanley? What made well, you different? At that time, I, I, I was, I was really what you call a hard worker. You know, I, okay. I wanted uh, more money than what I was getting at the time. Okay. And I felt at the time it was a good opportunity for me to show myself. And uh, I believe in just working, you know, and doing the best I could. You know, I planned. They liked it, you know. They, good. They seemed to kept me on, and uh, I, at the same time, I was getting paid, you know, and able to do little things for my family out there. Okay. And then also for my, me, you know, while I was locked up, you know. But they chose you based on, I guess, your skill. My, yeah, I guess you could say that. Okay. You know? And uh, I guess being a hard worker, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I pretty much stayed focused on my job at hand and done what I was supposed to do. Right. And I, I guess they was impressed. And I chose you among anybody else to, to, yeah. to work with their company. How many employees worked with Tricor? I guess about 40 inmates out of uh, uh, 1,500 people in the population, yeah. So, wow, that's a small percentage, which is great. But, it, go ahead. But, before you can get in track, you had to go through a, a post it, you know. Okay. It's, it was one of the procedures. They wasn't just singing the track code. You had to go through uh, a post it, and you stay in the post it. You might be in a while for six to eight months doing a post work, and then once you complete the class, they'll send you uh, to track code. But once you get there, track code, you're on the state line, you know, and, and then you're doing good work. And people notice it, and they, so, you know they'll they'll probably call you over and ask you how about join the team. And, so, but it's um, interesting. Even though you were in prison, mm -hmm. you went to school or took a class, which was yeah, the upholstery class. Upholstery class. You got a job. Uh -huh. Then you got a promotion. Oh. Which sounds like anything that would happen outside of prison. So we can use exactly what you've done mm -hmm. in prison to build your resume. You went to school, you took a class, yeah. you got a job, you got a promotion, mm -hmm. you're a minimum wage. Yeah. That sounds exactly like what somebody would do on the outside. And the encouraging thing is, there's probably a lot of people like you that don't know, uh -huh. if we put this all down on paper, that's a resume. Uh -huh. And that's what we're trying to do today, is take your experience and put it in a resume format. So you do have a lot of work, a lot to work with here to put in a resume, which is encouraging. Okay. Um, any other highlights that you had while in while at Tricor in prison um, that 
we can put in a resume? Anything that you can think of? Uh, highlights. Can you give me a specific of uh, what you mean by highlights? Uh, Anything that showed you were different or better or more skilled than not only the other prison population, but even the employees at Tricor? Uh, I don't think I could say, uh, I believe whatever I, I did, I always tried to do my best. And, okay. And I guess, uh, I, I guess I just, I shine the, mm -hmm. the, you know, more than the rest of the people at the time. Okay, good. I, I was driven. I had a hunger, a hunger at the time. I, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted things, you know, for us, a little more money. Right. And so I pretty much stayed focused and done what I had to do. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And stay dedicated mm -hmm. to it. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, well um, this, what you've just told me, makes me feel really good about your experience in putting that down in a resume. Mm -hmm. um, you earn money, you gained a skill that can be used in the real world, mm -hmm. um, you're focused and dedicated. At Tricor, you were a model inmate apparently because you were chosen as one of only 40 employees with this company out of a very large inmate population. So there's a lot we can work with here. And let's go ahead and let's get this on paper and see what your resume looks like once we start building a resume with that experience, all right? Okay. Good. Okay. What we need to do then, Stanley, is find out a little bit more information about Tricor, and we can do that by going to the company's website. Yeah. and taking the information off the internet and put that on the resume. So let's do that or uh, read the company information that they provide. Okay. Okay, we, um, okay, in your resume, since we built that, we have Tricor Manufacturing in Tennessee, 2002 to 2006 or, or so. Yeah. And it is a large manufacturer with approximately 1,000 workers company specializes in producing apparel, bedding, trash bags, cleaning chemicals, library cards, file cabinets, storage and fabrics. Now this is from their company website. So if you have a company that you're working with that a lot of people don't know about, you do need to go to their website and educate the reader of your resume about exactly what your company does. And that's what we did for Tricor. So your job was essentially a sewing technician, so let's list that as your title. And based on what you've told me, we can take that information and put that in a resume format. And here's part of what you've done. Trained in upholstery techniques in 2002, based on the class you took. Selected to assist on curtain assembly. Earn one of the top wages from 2003 to 2006. And gained expertise on the essential aspects of sewing, upholstery, and creating furnishings. Now, even though you came from prison, did you think you would have a resume that ended up looking, in part, like this? No, I never thought that, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? But I see that all things are possible, though. So how does that make you feel now, compared to when you first got out of prison, with the hopelessness and doubt and the questions you had? How do you feel uh, about it now? I would really like the future looking bright, you know. Uh, I never th thought it would look this bright, uh, way it is. Never. I thought I'd be well met right, right today, you know. But I'm, I'm thankful, you know. Thank God, you know. Well, great. Well, I certainly wish you the best, Stanley. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.